Oh, with that daunting soundtrack. Welcome to it, your Feel Good Breakfast show on this Friday morning. Fei Chang Hao, really so good to be with you. And uh, <laughs> my feline friend over here, JP Sebastian, clearly inspired by what's going on right now. You knew it was me. <laughs> you it's, can't. It's, it's a wrap, guys. But I prepared so well for this. But I understand it now because <laughs> the absolute excitement that I witnessed last night at the South African premiere of Beast mm -hmm. is, is, is infectious. Yes. And rightly so. Yes, I think yes, it, yes. it's really worthy of that excitement and I'm looking forward to having uh, the conversation with uh, Shalto Copley a little bit later on. But you are particularly, particularly on another level of excitement. No lion. Uh, so, <laughs> please, we're, we're not going to do this forever. Uh, Kat, I'm just firstly here to re-traumatise you. How about I show you a scene of one of the most pulse racing... Can I just, before you do that, right? I think... Ten minutes into the movie, I had my first scream already. So please, re-traumatise <laughs> me again. Emotional uh, okay, we're damage. Towards, I want at least three screams as we come back from this look at Beast. was definitely my first one. You realize you're eating your hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's how much of a visceral experience this was for me last mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. Sitting three rows from the screen, mm -hmm. I, I let out an audible, ro though rather low-toned, yo! <laughs> that lion smashed against the window. Uh, and like, like you were telling me, the, the visual effects, my goodness. Uh, fully not expecting that myself. Uh, the critic next to me turned to me and she said, you have to be flipping kidding me. It wasn't the flipping one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I was not expecting this. We've had some rough rides as far as cats go, as far as felines go. <laughs> the Lion King, look, the Lion King looks good, but the execution of trying to make that uh, animation or whatever, that's not It was already a cat. And then poor cats. Oh, them. man. So I, I was like, no, dudes. Uh, I, I expected them to shoot this entire movie in the dark to cover their, their bums on, on, you know, rough patches. Of right. Them. But really steps up to the plate for VFX. I want to talk about VFX a bit later, though. I've got a yeah. little segment where I'm going to dig into that a bit deeper. Uh, talk to me about the story, the though, story, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because you've got this This There's dad. an emotional aspect. Yeah, there's, there's a heavily emotional aspect. Yeah. When it starts off, you're like, happy trip, dad and daughters, mm. and they're, they're going on this trip. Amazing, because mm. there's this dream occurring, but you, you don't exactly know how that dream links to the entire narrative. I think your adrenaline was just too jacked. It must have. To, like, it must have been. I'll, I'll flesh in some of the blanks there, because uh, the story being is that, well, he's, he's a physician. He's a medical doctor first. He's a surgeon. So, great man to have on the scene when right. you have a lion attack. <laughs> and those opportunities present themselves opportunities. That's a weird way of putting it. These daughters, however, it's not necessarily happy-go-lucky. Yes. We can see clearly now the rain is gone, as we're hearing in the song. There. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he broke up with his wife. Yes. Uh, before they all realized that she was stage four cancer. Yes. Him being a doctor beats himself up incessantly that it was his job to notice this. There's, right. a, be there's right. a beautiful line, as far as I'm concerned, I thought it was quite poetic. He says, Death came up the stairs to my family's door, knocked on it, and I was not there to answer. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine, I, I, we're not doctors, we're not medical professionals, but if you couldn't see the signs, you've got to beat yourself up for the rest of your life. Exactly. So he's dealing with that yoke around his neck, that guilt. At the same time, his daughters, children being as they are, they can't understand the difficulties that relationships go through. Right. Right. And go, Dad, you failed us. Mm -hmm. So there's some of these weird scenes, and that's interesting. Some people will be like, dude, why is she climbing out of the car? That's totally insane. You're dealing with a traumatized subject. The little girl had to be independent. She had to be mom on behalf of her younger sister for the longest time, picking up the pieces where she feels Dad dropped the ball. So there's great sort of emotional aspect here, and I don't need to tell you that Idris Elba is a man who brings it to, to the fore for that. The young Man. actors as well. Usually young actors can be quite annoying, but good for them. They really uh, conveyed the, you know, the one was a smart ass, and the other one was, you know, like, uh, the very, uh, try to veil the trauma so that you can yes. protect the uh, sister, etc., etc. So all those emotional aspects, that's a bunch of what I want to talk about right now. I want to 
talk about Sholto as well. So yes, yeah, so Sholto is is uh, Martin, right? He plays the Martin character Battles. of Martin Battles, yeah. and he's the best friend of Idris, who actually introduced him to his wife. There was a f good friendly triangle there, and friendly, nothing weird. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll find out. We'll we'll interrogate him later. But uh, the, the, what's cool about the design of these characters, as far as I'm concerned, they come across that first village where they see that this beast, rogue lion, by the way, is what we're talking about here, yes. has massacred an entire village. And then what was great for me is that they tried to keep the pace. You might find another movie, oh, they pick up the corpse and someone goes, why? And then yes. violence come in. But these are just two dudes who have to solve a problem ASAP. So they yes, push, exactly. they push, they push, the tempo pushes. And so I'll talk about the cinematography and how that lends itself to that push and that propulsion of an incredible pace and an incredible tension through a movie that made you scream. And I think I, in total I counted eight times that I audibly screamed. I learned 20 new swear words from South <laughs> uh, All ages were just, they were grabbing for the most exotic dictionaries, but tell you what. Let's take a look at some of the causes of these. Uh, yes, and, and, and some of the causes would be, you know, men and women might be screaming for Idris, hoping that Lion claws off his shirt. Let's yeah. know what it's like to work with Idris Alba on the movie Beast, releasing today, South Africa. You can just call 29 and Charlie. Uh, I want to say Charlie Baka. <laughs> you can say that. Working with Idris Elba is such a joy. Please, my dad, this is insane. He was like, Daddy, can you stop bringing up Banji? Like, okay, Dad, we get it. It's really nice working with Mr. Elba. He's really hilarious. He's very kind. He's a very lovely person. We got McDouble Martin. And we got super size Nugget Nick. We found ourselves sort of getting closer in real life. Just stay right here. Just gonna jump out this moving car. <laughs> he made me feel so comfortable after takes. Just working with him is literally a dream come true. It's really gotten to the point where he's like my second father. All three of us, when we were doing our scenes, became a little bit of a family unit. Really, it's quite heartwarming. He's amazing, literally amazing. Yeah. And I wrote a note down for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You. So one, one of the great things that they did, as, as JP highlighted... Go, going to my safe space, sorry. The visual effects, that I, I was sitting in my seat, mm. and I was literally, as the lion was biting him and scratching him, I was like, yo, yo, yo. Like, it could have been seen but, as a, I'm a piano you, video, <laughs> though, you know, but oh my goodness. I'm a paranoia. The, uh, <laughs> you remember the revenant Leonardo DiCaprio and the yes. bear? Actually, the director spoke to Inaritu, how do I do that, how do I recreate that? I'll talk to you a bit, a bit wow. more about the, the cinematography later, but you probably want to hear a number, don't how you? How many popcorns? I was super surprised at this movie. Good grief. South Africa, treat yourself. Eight out of ten. Wow. Eight out of ten popcorns, certainly Legit. worth I am... your weekend trip. Are those actually eight popcorns? Do we make sure that when the, that graphic pops there's eight. I Beast think is I, enough. I think I literally counted eight. <laughs> well done Your to... Your senses are messing with you at this point. <laughs> but well done to, to the team, mm -hmm. who, as you said, during very oh, constrained times. More. Yeah, and we are going to have you having a conversation with uh, Shalto Copley, uh, one of the stars of Beast, which releases today. That it does. Cinemas nationwide. <laughs> Growl with excitement. Growl with excitement. Growl. <laughs>